Hey y'all. Y'all know we just came back from the store. So we finna get into this grocery haul. Let me show y'all what I got. Number one, the Dawn antibacterial soap. This is hand soap, y'all. As it says, antibacterial hand soap. But it's also dishwashing liquid, baby. Dishwashing liquid on the bottom. And you can do your own research. I already went on over to the Dawn website and read what the difference is. Hold on, I'm a little parched. Let me get my water. <sighs> All right, now y'all know I like to drink my water and mind my business. But the difference is the green one can also be used for hand washing because it has an antibacterial properties versus the blue one doesn't necessarily have those same antibacterial properties. So it's not formulated for hand washing. This is formulated for hand washing and dishwashing. It's perfectly fine, I promise you. Do y'all research though, friend. So we got some dish liquid. I went to the store because I wanted to make some linguine pasta. No one in there about everything else got boba and I don't even feel like cooking no more. But we did get some linguine pasta. I'm gonna make nachos later. So I got some Tostino's nachos cheese dip. The McCormick Grill Mates Roasted Garlic Seasoning. We got some grits. Cause baby, I went want some grits and I'm gonna make some grits in the morning. So we had to get a bag of these. I wasn't even supposed to get all this stuff from Harris Tita. Like I told y'all earlier in the vlog, baby, we were just supposed to get something to cook for right now and go for real grocery shopping tomorrow. But I don't went there and spent $200, y'all. We got a 30 count of large eggs. These were only $5. I feel like that was a pretty good price. Now to me, Harris Teeter has pretty good pricing on their meats, but everything else is like expensive. So we got this family pack of chicken breasts, one, two, three, four, five, six chicken breasts. And I normally split these in half, so this is like 12, but this was on sale for $11.80. We also got a pound, two and a half pounds of ground beef for $9.82. And this is really what took us over the edge, y'all. I've been wanting Snapper. I see why they charge $30 for them plates in Atlanta for some Snapper and Grits. Why was, let me see, this is a little over two pounds, 1.92 pounds of Snapper, $34. This is like four or five pieces. And I had already committed to it. The man had wrapped it up. So I didn't want to be like, I don't want it no more. So I had to follow through. What's up? Y'all. Guess what? I can't happened? see you. Guess what happened today? What happened? My dream was to reach five stars in my theme park. I finally did it today. Yeah, buddy. Five stars. You got five stars on your theme park. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. It, it took time and dedication. Time and dedication. Um, so we got the snapper, y'all. This was thirty-four dollars, but I had to have it. And then I also got a little over a pound of cod. This was ten dollars. Okay. Damn. Get a bottle of water. They have pork chop on sale. I first had this big old pack for $10, but then they had this little pack right here for $3.50. And really that man and CJ are the only ones that really eat pork chops like that. So we might do some pork chop sandwiches, pork chops and potatoes. So I'm quick and easy with this, but you can't pass up $3 pack of meat. And then I went to get some of the boards and cheese because I've been wanting to put that in my potatoes, but it was $7.99 and they had this Alouette garlic and herb cheese on sale for $5. And I bought this one before, so we just picked up this one, baby. It's gonna be just fine. I told y'all every time I go to the store, I buy cheese, baby. I be needing it. I had to get some mild cheddar and some triple cheddar because we are making nachos. And all I had left was like Italian Parmesan and mozzarella. I do have some Kobe Jack, but we needed these too. We got a small bag of all-purpose flour, some spinach. And why was this spinach almost $4? It's going to shrink down to nothing. It's not even going to make a cup of spinach. They need to change the price on that, baby. Some tomatoes. And people were saying, um, don't put your tomatoes in the refrigerator. I know at the grocery store, they're not in the refrigerator and technically you're not supposed to put them in there. But my tomatoes last longer, stay firmer. I don't taste um, anything different in the taste. And I did the same thing with my avocados. Food be going bad too fast, y'all. I had to put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> so I got two lemons, y'all. I'm gonna use this for my pasta. We got a gallon of lemonade and a gallon of sweet tea. We got some of that Harris Teeter brand orange juice, baby. This was $3.50. Orange juice costs a lot, too. And I was going to get heavy whipping cream, but a little small container of heavy whipping cream was $7 and some change. And I really couldn't get with that, so I got this thing a half and half, and we're going to make it do what it do. By the time we put all them cheeses and seasonings and all that other stuff in there, again, ain't going to be able to tell the difference. I'm tired, y'all. I'm about out of breath. Yup. 
Big old snack of garlic powder. Y'all know I love me some garlic powder. We put that on everything. And then I cannot find the says on tropical. Y'all know about it all. Every time I tell y'all about some friends, I go back and I can't find them. Well, why y'all be doing me like that? So I just got some regular says on packets. We got two packets of fried rice seasoning mix. Because I'm going to make some fried rice at some point this week. And then we were out of soy sauce. And my complimentary packets are running low. So I went ahead and got a small bottle of soy sauce. Y'all know I love to get what's on sale, baby. They had the Florida's Naturals juices on sale. And we really like these. This is the Fruit Splash. And this is the Passion Fruit Splash. And the Passion Fruit is my favorite one. A can of Grand's Biscuits. Because I'm going to cook Sunday morning breakfast tomorrow. I haven't cooked Sunday morning breakfast in a minute, y'all. But I'm going to get it together. i just been so busy trying to wrap up my end of the year projects. Everything with the book. Goals that I want to do. I know that I haven't been cooking like I should, but I'm going to get it back together. This week, the kids are out of school on Monday and Tuesday. They give me extra time to like prep. I already wrote everything out. I got my grocery list. We're going to be on it. I like oat milk and almond milk. Oat milk was on sale. and Oat milk is a little thicker than almond milk to me. So this is actually what I like more. So I went ahead and grabbed me some oat milk. Because I like to eat me some cereal, a little milk and cookies, things like that sometimes, you know? I got a little over a pound of the red Argentina shrimp. I like these because they come butterfly, devein, tail off. You don't really have to do anything but wash them. And these were on sale for $12.99 a pound. It's probably like 20 in here, but they're real big. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And Josiah really doesn't like anything but Alfredo, y'all. Just Alfredo sauce and penne noodles. And when I saw this pasta around and heat and eat, it's penne alfredo. I got it. Hopefully, he can just throw a little salt, pepper, garlic pad on there, and these will be good for him to put in the microwave. They were on um, sale $2.99. Buy one, get one free. They only have four packs left, so I got all four. Y'all know I love me some green onions, so we got a thing of green onions. And then here's Teeter. Their bag onions are only $1.99, so I went ahead and got a bag of the regular onions too. Green onions and yellow onions. I had to get some great tomatoes to go with my pasta, so we got a container of those. And then I got the house archery seafood breader. I like the house archery. It's not too salty. Sometimes you can't add your own seasonings when you're using seafood breader because it's already real salty, but house archery does me good. I was out of black pepper, baby, using them little travel salt and pepper shakers. So I had to go ahead and give me a container of black pepper. And then we have a nachos later. This Ortego, Ortego, this Ortega taco sauce that me and love this. So I went ahead and got one of those. A dollar for Daisy. I feel like I just bought sour cream, but I did not want to have to go back to the store. So I just went ahead and picked up some of that. Butter is almost $5 at Harris Tita. Not margarine. I done told y'all, not Imperial Country Crock, Blue Bonnet. For real, for real, butter. And once you start using it, you will never look back. Because I used to live by Imperial and Blue Bonnet. But when I found out about real butter, it's, it's worth the price. But I wish they would quit upping it. Because $5 for four cents, baby, please. Hmm. We love pepper jack cheese on our sandwiches. And I got the big thing from Sam's Club last time and it lasted forever. But since I was in Harris Teeter, I went ahead and picked up this pack. It's only 10 in here, but it was like $2.50. And then I needed some cream of chicken. I wanted the cream of chicken and herb, but they didn't have any in there. So I just got two cans of cream of chicken and then I got cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. So they were buy one, get one free. I went ahead and got four of those. Do I feel like this is $200 worth of stuff? Baby, no. But between the snapper and the shrimp, that was like $50 by itself. We did get chicken, pork chop, ground beef. We got the cod, snapper, the shrimp, two kinds of tomatoes, spinach, green onions, yellow onions, lemons, the um, cheese, shredded cheese, pepper jack cheese, the alouette cheese. We got... Flour, half and half, oat milk, lemonade, tea, orange juice, passion fruit juice, fruit punch, dish detergent, the 30 count of eggs. We got our biscuits, sour cream, soy sauce, garlic powder, black pepper, the taco seasoning, sazon, fried rice seasoning, roasted garlic seasoning, linguine, the seafood bread of the grits, and the creamy mushroom and cream of chicken. So I guess when you look at it all together, it's not bad. I probably could have did better if I went to a different store, but I ain't feel like all that. So I'm getting ready to put this stuff up. I think we're going to forego the pasta for today. It's like 2 o'clock. 
And then probably right around five, I'll make the nachos. But anyway, love y'all, bye y'all.